Alright, now the next thing is we're going to install the uh, connecting rods, okay? For that, first you need to prepare the servo arm. Inside the bag which comes with the servo, you will find a double-sided arm, two-way arm. To prepare it properly, I will suggest you drill the second hole bigger rather than the front hole because it's more likely the front one will break easily, leaving you in trouble looking for the spare arms so drill the second hole large but if you want to go for the first one do it very very carefully okay so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, make sure to drill these holes bigger so that this 2 mm screw can fit in let's just do it all right the second hole is a little bigger now let's test our screw and this should screw in just perfectly. Similarly, go ahead and do the second side. Okay, the screw will fit. Just make sure the screw will screw in. Um, the thing is that this is the plastic arm, so basically over time use when this uh, tilting on it, the screw will get loose. And for that we have a little nuts that we will use a whole lot of Loctite. Now before actually installing them, we will do an eye hand coordination and um, a rough estimate and in decrease the length of these connecting rods by tightening them. Why? Because we need to make sure that the servo arm stays perfectly perpendicular vertically, okay, while we install the servo connecting rod here and uh, we need to match this length from servo arm to the rocker arm okay make sure the rocker arm is also perpendicular it's not very important to perfectly make them perpendicular horizontally perpendicular to the frame um, 90 degree as we say it's not actually necessary if there's a little bit of uh, gap or there's a little bit of uh, difference in the length of these connecting rods we can make do with that because later I can describe some tweaks and tips using these connecting rods length so that you can let the rear arm tilt more compared to the front arm and that makes the quadcopter behave in totally different surprisingly amazing way so you can use the length of these uh, connecting rods different lengths of these connecting rods and you can do different things with the tilting of arms but for now we are going to tighten them until they are long enough to install while the servo arm stands perfectly vertical perpendicular to the frame and of course the uh, rocker arm of the main arm tube also uh, stays perpendicular or vertically straight and then we will install it after that we will see the tweaks and tips later right for now I will install the uh, servo arm on the servo It's a 360 degree servo, okay? So for now, we are not concerned about where the servo centers. We will just, with the eye hand coordination, make the arm go very straight, perpendicular, 90 degrees, okay? And similarly, we will do with the arm rocker piece here. Then, eye hand coordinations. Well, this is still longer, all right? So let me tighten it a little bit more. I think you will have to tighten them all the way in and then you will align them nice and good. Alright, now let's do with the rear one. Align the rear arms rocker piece straight, perpendicular, okay, and see the length. Ooh, so much length. Alright, start tightening it. Okay, so both connecting rods are equal length, I mean uh, the perfect length that we wanted now comes the tricky part so first I will suggest you remove the uh, servo arm okay and let's prepare the connecting rods on the servo arm first
it depends how you want to go through it. Well, it all depends how you want to do it, but this is my way. If you want to do it in your way and your way is better, please do share it with us all. Once the screws are in, let me zoom in a bit. You want to lock tight the hell out of it here at this side because this side we're going to install the uh, little nut and we don't want this nut to come off. Okay, so our servo arm is ready. Okay, and uh, we are now going to install it onto the servo and then connect these ends to the rocker arms, which is a little bit tricky, but we can do it easily. First thing is to put, insert these connecting rods, okay, and aligning them so that you can move it right onto the servo arm, a uh, servo gear. Put the arm on the servo gear, and then you can move them around. Now we can align it here and add a screw but this is a little bit tricky for screw to go in because there is no place even a smaller screwdriver will not go in here so either you need to loosen these screws and uh, tighten this screw perfectly from the connecting rod to the rocker arm or you can just do it my way which is a little bit funny and tricky however the best thing is if you don't want to do too much trouble or funny tricky way you can remove the blocks uh, these four screws and blocks and then install the screw for the connecting rod on the rocker piece uh, but if you go with my funny way that is also doable and for that you have to move the servo arm all the way back in a way that now connecting rod and rocker arm are inside okay they are inside and now with a little bit of patience you can use this little silver screw lock tight it first insert it into the metal ball okay and then down to the rocker arm align it to the hole from inside if you can see align it nice and you can easily tighten it well this is my way and it's a kind of funny uh, but it does work and saves you from a lot of trouble to remove the arm and everything out now you can see it's perfectly working with the servo similarly we will repeat the same funny procedure for the rear arm and insert that screw and tighten it so let's just do it Okay, done perfectly. You see if you align the arms right, our tilting mechanism is working. Yay! Now, it's time we lock the arms, slide the arms left and right, tilt them all the way until they lock forward and backward. Okay, make sure nothing touches anywhere. Okay, and then we will slide these arms, arm locks on, these circular arm locks. We will slide them on and lock them, tighten them with the screws provided so that the arm will not slide left and right during the flight. Same thing we will do with the rear arm, okay, after making sure everything is aligned perfectly, we will lock them with the arm circular ring locks here so that arm will not slide left and right. Before we put the arm locks on, there has been a last minute update and I have uh, made sure to, inst to add a small bag and uh, I hope my dealer uh, Foxtech FPV will also add this bag. You will receive four standoff okay, and some plastic standoff pieces, we'll mount them later, we'll see them, black screws, alright. And apart from that you will find four silver longer screws these silver longer screws you will use them to tighten the arm locks originally factory made a mistake and they provided this black small screw this doesn't lock the arm lock that circular one so I have added the longer silver screw using these longer screws you can easily lock the arm locks the circular one by tightening it but before that, make sure you have aligned the arms nicely, 
okay so both sides have almost equal space and that the arm will not slide so one side is locked let's lock the other side right now you can see the arm will not slide left and right that the tilting is a still smooth we don't want to put too much load on a servo if the tilting is not very smooth similarly let's go ahead and tighten the rear one but for that of course flip the quad upside down and then using your foot scale as I said don't worry to have the exact measurement okay just make sure you are as close as possible and the stuff and the screws or anything else is not touching anywhere tighten the arm locks okay rear arm tightened no play in the arms left and right forward backward okay and our tilting is working perfectly nice and smooth now that this is done you might think that it's time for us to put a screw in servo arm to tighten it on the gear well don't do it because we still have to go ahead when time comes to install the electronics and when we power up we don't know where the servo will center so once we power the servo on it will center somewhere then we will remove this arm servo arm and we will put it back onto the servo gear making sure as much as close to make it vertically aligned to or perpendicular to the plates just like this and once done then we will tighten that little screw to make the servo arm permanent on the gear for now the frames the most critical part is done next thing we can do is uh, install these four stand off okay one two three four and on the bottom of course we will install these little plastic pieces so that our power distribution board can be installed here so these are the next steps let's go ahead and install the stand off quickly okay so we will do the installation of power distribution board later right now the next step for this quad so far is looking really nice i can't wait to fly it right now the next thing to do is prepare these motor mounts and install the motor mounts on these and after that we will align them perfectly uh, perfectly horizontal alignment that alignment has to be done with the assembly stand i will show you how to do it so